Hello viewers and welcome to today's quest we have as a first resort. I can start this by speaking to Chief Tess in the center of Ooglog. Some things you are going to need is have completed the Zogar Flesh Eaters, have 48 Hunter, 51 Fire Making, and 58 Wood Cutting. Now it claims all you need is three things, however that is not true. Primarily you're going to need a box trap and a bird snare. You are only going to need the teasing stick if you are hunting the Lurupia furs yourself. You will also need four spears of the same type. That means they all have to be bronze or they all have to be iron. You can't, you know, pick and choose. They cannot be poisoned. Things that you can obtain during the quest, however I have them already. Most of this can be obtained in the area surrounding Ooglong. You need eight achy tree logs, about two dozen eucalyptus logs, two raw chompies, eight stripy feathers. Stripy feathers can be gotten from hunting tropical wagtails, four wolf bones, the eight Larupia furs, they can be tatty or perfect, doesn't matter. As well as you need a bunch of plants, these can be picked around from Ooglog as well. And as shown in this picture, all of them can be found around the lodestone. Gonna need 10 to 15, depending on if you oops up or not. But you're gonna need fever grass, lavender, primweed, stink bloom, and tansmum. As well, you're gonna want some logs for some sort of traps. If you're an Iron Man to get the spears, unless you make them yourself through the barbarian training. It is recommended that you have access to the Champions Guild or the Warriors Guild, as both have shops that you can buy from. However, Champions, you buy Rune, whereas the Warriors, you buy everything underneath it. Recommended is to have the Ooglog Lodestone unlocked. You can also use the Fairy Rings AKS that delivers you just north of Ooglog, as well as there's a Spirit Tree teleport to the South Feldup Hills, or Runes to the South Feldup Hills teleport, or Ring of Dueling, and you can just run all the way south. Lodestone is by far the fastest. At the start, we're going to need 10 Eucalyptus Logs, 8 Achy Logs, and 4 Spears, and 2 Raw Chompies. So this is where the bank is. We're going to want to go just north of it, and speak with Chief Tess. I wonder how she's gonna troll us today. Choosing chat options one, accept quest, one and one. What exactly is going on around here? Accept. So, about this business venture. Can I help at all? Okay, now we're gonna run just south of the bank, leaving Tess all by herself. And in the bank we have Balnia. Speak with her, choosing chat option one, two, one, 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 and one. Um, yeah, so what's going on around here? What problem? Okay, I'll bite. Tell me more. But of course. Well, why not? I have nothing better to do. Sure thing. So, just north of the bank, next to a fire pit, we have Charger. Want to speak with Charger? Choosing chat option one. I think I can get that stuff for you. Mm. 
Okay, so you want to do is you want to use the acre tree logs on the fire pit directly north, followed by the eucalyptus logs. If you have all the logs in your inventory, it will use them all at the same time. Talk with Charger again, choosing chat option two. Fine, I'll get some spears for you. Okay, so I brought iron spears. Can you use those on her? Choosing chat option two. Yes, I'd like to give four spears to Charger. Talk to her again, choosing chat option two. But of course I'll bring you some chompy birds. Use the ch raw chompy on her. Talk to her again. Light the fire pit. Talk to Charger again. <laughs> Go back to the bank, just to the south. Speak to Balnea, choosing chat options one. Right ho, I'll go and see Snurg at the hotel and transition away. So now we're going to want to go east. All the way east, the very last building to the southeast, we have Snurg. Talk to Snurg. Choosing chat option one. Sure, I'll bring some feathers. Talk to her to give her the feathers. Return to the bank and speak to Balnea, choosing chat option one and one. You're going to ask me to go to the salon, right? Yeah, sure, I'll go to the salon. Now, thankfully, progressing this far in, we have access to the bank. So you're going to want to take out your eight Larupia furs and four wolf bones from the bank. And the building directly to the east of the bank, we are going to find Crink. And we want to speak with her, choosing chat option two. Why, sure, I'd be happy to help. Speak with her, choosing chat option one to give them all. You sure can. Let's return back to the bank to speak to Balnea again. This is where we're going to need our eucalyptus logs as well as a variety of different plants. So I'm going to bring a few of every and some logs. We can always come back and get them. Now the plants and stuff are going to be different for some people, but there is a method to the madness. So we're going to go northeast, directly east of Charger. We are going to have Seer Good. We need to talk to them so we can figure out what the heck we're doing.
So they just told us which herbs to put next to which rocks. Now ignore what pool I'm going to on screen. The one you want to go to is directly north of that greenish one, as it only has two rocks, so you have to figure out what one of the things is, as opposed to the rest of the pools which have three rocks each. It saves a few of your resources that way. So we are going to examine the rocks, and they say pile of stones. Now I put what she said goes with every rock on screen. Long brown is eucalyptus, green is fever grass, orange is stink bloom, purple is lavender, red is primweed, and yellow is tanzimum. So just add them to the fire pit next to it, light it, and it's not going to work, don't worry about it, and then we just head back to her to find out what's wrong. So it didn't work. So we need to go back to see our good. So as it turns out, the kids decided to be little brats and they rearranged all the stones. Wonderful. So we need to figure this out on our own. Now there's one thing that all of these things have in common and that is the long brown. So the long brown is going to signal the eucalyptus logs. So to figure it out for purposes, I'm not going to go west to east. I am going to go to this one directly north. We have a yellow egg shaped. Now normally this would be tanzimum, however it is not thanks to the brats. So we always start off by adding the eucalyptus logs to the fire pit and then we work on the plants. So now time to figure out which logs belong where, making sure to write it down or memorize it. So let's try, I'm gonna try fever grass. You'll know it works because after you add your mystery herb and light it, the insects will disappear and you'll get a chat message saying as much as well. Just very important to remember to add your eucalyptus logs before you try any new of the herbs because you're gonna to need to do this every single time you try a new combination. Can try primweed. Okay, so my yellow egg shaped is going to be stinkweed. Next one has only two, and that's to the east. So we're going to go there. So now we have the addition of the red sphere as well as the ones from the last one. So that means we know one of them is going to be eucalyptus log and we know one of them is going to be the one from the previous pool which for me was stinkweed. And now it's a rinse and repeat of the last one. So I'm going to cycle through all the things and hope I get it right. And don't be afraid to go to the bank to restock as many times as you need to. Lord knows I'm going to have to. Okay, now we're gonna go to the west, to the one just north of Tess, and this way we know what one of them is.
and then we just have to figure out what the green gumdrop is. Here we go again. Good luck. Now we're gonna go west again, over on to the yellow pool, and I may have to restock sometime soon. Okay, now we need to figure out what purple tall is. Last pool, the red one to the west, all the way to the west. That's when I came originally. That means the last one is the orange squarish. So these are like eucalyptus logs. My red sphere was the fever grass, so I'm gonna use that. My purple tall was lavender, so I'm going to use that. Now for orange squarish, the only one out of all of them that I haven't used yet is the primweed. And light that up. And there we go. This is probably the longest part of the quest is the trial and error. We're going to want to talk to Seagut again. Now, go back to the bank, speak with Belnia, choosing chat option one. Sure, anything to avoid talking to you for a while. Now, go talk to Chief Tess, because she is one nosy woman, choosing chat option one. I know how to smoke a trap to remove my scent. We are going to want to go to the bank and get about four logs and some fever grass, six plus. And unequip anything in your hands. Now we're going to want to go to the pool directly north of the bank, we have some disease kebits. So we need to set up traps, bait it with a fever grass, and pretty much the only way you're going to get these guys to fall into the traps is to light one of the fever grass in your inventory. You will hold it and wave it around for a few minutes and you can just kind of bait them over here and you bring them to the rocks and they get squished and then you check the traps, reset, rinse and repeat until you have all four. Now all four of them may not be gotten from one side. I was able to get three from one side and then go to the other side where there's some more rocks and get the other. Ideally you probably want to get two on each and keep going until you kill them all.
And boom. All gone. Now we're going to want to head to the bank and get our bird smear and, and some tanzamums. Now just west of the bank, we are going to find some birdies. It's the same thing as before. We lay the bird snare, we light a tanzimum, and we lure it around. Come to me, little babies. Now we're going to go back to the bank and we're going to get a box trap and some lavender. The yellow pool that is just west of Chief Tess, we're going to see some platypuses. want to do is we're going to want to set up a box trap, light some lavender, and the same thing as the other ones. We got the first one. Okay, we got the last one. Now we're going to want to go all the way east to where the water is, and there'll be some tall grass around the water. So there we go got some tall grass reed things. This is where we're gonna want to release the animals. So release all four of them by right clicking on each one of them one by one. And it's funny because they all find us something in the reeds too. Now, if you have any followers out, dismiss them. And we're going to want to go all the way to the bank and speak with Balnea. And you're going to want to let the cutscene play out.
Congratulations, you've completed as our first resort. You are granted one quest point, 15,000 fire making, hunter, and woodcutting XP, access to spa facilities in the Oogalog Hunter area, the all the shops in the area, pretty much well, it's food shop. They call it a gift shop, but it's like a general store. You also have the platypus summoning pet. You have your caskets and oysters from helping out the little platypuses. You can now travel to Oogalog using charter ships. You can create Create robust glass and crystal glass, as well as two treasure hunter keys if you are not an Iron Man. So pretty much well how this works out is the red pool all the way to the west, that is the Bandos pool. Pretty much what this does is it marks you as a follower of Bandos. So that's helpful for the God Wars dungeon. The yellow one, which is the Sulphur Spring, it fully restores your prayer points and boosts it to 10% over what your level is. The light blue one, which is the salt water spring that give you unlimited run energy and restores it to 100% every two ticks. It can last anywhere from eight to 25 minutes including allow you to run along the ice path, normally you can't, as well as resist the curse of Jiangxi. And if you're going to be doing familiarization, highly recommended to do it, as well as any other activity that requires a lot of running. Now the greenish one, that is the thermal bath. This heals you, cures poison, and grants you poison immunity for about mm, 14 minutes. And as well as for one hour, it will boost your maximum life points by three per HP level you have, up to 297 if you have 99. This also stacks with things like bonfires, equipment that gives you um, HP boosts. Now the mud bath, that is the brownish one. It boosts your hunter level by 10%. However, this will not stack with a hunter potion. It also removes your scent so that you have, so that it pretty much will act like as if you were smoking a trap. However, this boost will drop one point per minute. As well as just outside here, we have Teplin McGagan. He will, he is a decanter for you. He has the ability to decant your flasks, which is a nice little handy thing. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this guide and that it was helpful to you. If you liked it, feel free to show your support by giving it a thumbs up or a thumbs down. And you can also drop a comment in the section below telling me what you liked about this, how I can improve the guides to make them better for you, as well as just to say hi. And as always, you can check my links in the description below to my Patreon, Twitter, Facebook, Streamlabs, and the very rare time that I actually stream on Twitch. And until the next guide, ciao!